Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas from Ruby Rose 2. Although you say Happy Christmas in the UK, uh, which has taken Australia. me a lot, a long time to um, get used to. We're not getting into this. We'll okay. talk about the ashes later. Anyway, it is Christmas, and so we firstly must wish all of you Happy Christmas, Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas, or Happy whatever the hell you're doing. Like, just happy just a day off. Ha just happy, have a day hopefully, off. Hopefully, a day off. Maybe. Crack open a beer. Have a cup of tea if you don't drink. Yeah. Enjoy it. Anyway. Whatever you're doing today, we hope you're having a good one. So it is time for us to do what we do every year and review what we've done, what's happened, and where we're going. <laughs> like a big kind of like Dickens, past, present, and future. Well, there you go. There you Very go. topical. Very Dickensian. Now I yeah. need a top hat and then we can get on with this. But Let's talk about the past just very briefly because I don't think people. We don't know. need to revisit all that in too much detail. Well, we're just, okay, so basically, from January, mm -hmm. from this time last, from last Christmas till July, August, Ruby Rose 2 was still being built. Now, there's a few things that I do want to just chime in about that. In the first half of this year, the first whole Supernatural was finished. That boat got an absolute shellacking. And one thing that came out of that cruise was that a lot of modifications had to be done to hole one to then make sure that hole two, threes and four were modified. So that put everything back a good few months. It really did. And I'm glad they did it. It's a, at that point, the delays were like, Ugh, but get the work done and then we, we can get the boat absolutely perfect. Moving forward to July, August, we are then in a position where woo, Ruby Rose 2 is finished. Now, after some discussions with Seawinds, we decided to take delivery here in Pattaya, Ocean Marina. It's not Pattaya, it's south of Pattaya. And so we took delivery here. When was that, love? Yeah, it was August. August. Mm. Three days of handover. It was a bit of a baptism of fire. And just, you know, hark back to those episodes. Day one, handover. Day two, handover. Day three, Nikki and Jason turn up. Day four, we set off sailing. It was all a little bit too much. It was hectic. It was a hectic time. And we always like say to each other, we need to slow down. We need to just like take our time. And yet somehow we just keep on doing everything in a very hectic kind of way. Like our lives are certainly never boring. It's just the way it works. Like. It's just the way it works. And and yeah, Nikki and Jason had a window of opportunity to come out and sail with us before they had to be in China. And it just so happened that, you know, they only had like, I think four or five days. So we're like, okay, why are you here? Well, why don't you crew for us down to Koh Samui, which is what they did. And they were very, they were, they, they were very positive um, brought very positive vibes, I think, to the whole experience. I would say that I think, yes, ideally we could have spent another week just doing things Settling on our own. In, but yeah. having two experienced catamaran sailing friends of ours yeah. on board, they helped a hell of a lot. So they much. really did. Yeah. So, look, great to see them. We genuinely hope that to see them again next year, either cruising with them, near them, two boats together, you know, having a, you know, whatever. So, you know, they are always welcome on this boat, uh, but a great experience there. So then, obviously, after that, we did this big cruise and yeah, I was pretty drained. I was absolutely worn out when I came back. It was literally every day, get up, something's broken. Every day, get up, fix something. Every day, get up, oh shit, we've, now we've got to do this. You weren't the only one who had worn out. No, no, we, we, oh, no, we were no, both. Yeah, we're both absolutely, absolutely yeah. on our asses there. Yeah. So came back. Very stressed and yeah. yeah. Not really, really unhappy and kind of got to the point where like, I, have we just taken on too much? Yeah. Got off the boat, tidied it up and then did the world premiere. Like, what was it? At some point later, a couple of weeks later? Like a week after we yeah. got back, we did the <clears throat> world premiere, which was amazing amazing it's exactly what we needed yeah. psychologically at that moment in time because we had so many of our patrons i think there was 45 of you who came out and spent a weekend here in Pattaya with us a lot of you were 1370 owners or future owners but some of you just came out to have a fun weekend and that was on like i think six weeks notice and people flew oh. from all around the world we had 
Americans, Europeans, Brits, Australians. That was an amazing event. And all I would say to you is, I know people sometimes go, our oh, Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Literally, I kind of think that our patrons just saved me at that point. I just having that whole overwhelming, thank you so much, like it will be all right. Like having people like 45 people virtually hugging us. Yeah. I think at that point, I'm like, this is like, this could not have come at a better time. Yeah, and it's not just that it's like a lovely ego boost for everyone to be like, thanks so much for organizing this weekend. It's more just that we bought together just an incredible bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah we need Such needed. positive vibes. Everyone was so happy to be here. Everyone made friends with each other. Everyone was up for a laugh, good conversation. They were just like yeah. an amazing bunch of humans. So that was, and honestly, so again, thank you to yeah. the, everyone that turned up to that patron event. Literally, I can't, I, yeah. We were, we were on such a high after that yeah. weekend. Yeah, so we needed that. And then yeah. after that, literally, I think we got off the boat and then Annapolis. Yeah, we so, literally flew back the next day. So, so then all the way to America, did Annapolis. Annapolis was a great. We had an amazing yeah. time in Annapolis. Again, lots of meetups, lots of friends to catch up with. We did a Patreon meetup in Annapolis as well, which was amazing. So we yeah. got to see a lot of you who weren't, obviously, yeah. most of you couldn't come to Thailand, but we got to see a lot of you. And then, yeah, so thank you to all of you that came to that event. Yeah. Then we caught up with our friends, Billy and Sierra. We caught up with a lot of, a lot of friends in Annapolis. That yeah. was a really, and again, I know that it's like 24 hours on a plane to get there and 24 hours back, but. And we were pretty worn out by the end of that. Yeah. But essentially... But worn out in a good way. Yeah. And then Annapolis, we did Annapolis, and then came back here. And what that then brings us to is the cruise that we've just done. So the cruise that kind of... Actually, hold... I don't think anyone has seen the cruise yet. Oh, is it still... Because it's all just happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Th this is all to come. Uh, However, we'll, we'll foreshadow it. We'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. So basically, we've taken a cruise from Pattaya, from Ocean Marina, all the way down to Koh Chang and this beautiful archipelago uh, all around there. As one spoiler I'm going to give you, in all the years we have been sailing, through the BBIs, through France, through the Caribbean, America, this is the best sailing we've ever had. Yeah. It really is. It just weather, conditions, the way the boat performed, the way we didn't fuck anything up. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Always good. So yeah, that was that was amazing. So I'm very, very pleased with that. Yeah. And now that brings us to Christmas. So that's part. So we left the year on a real yeah, high. Yeah, we have definitely on a high. Now for next year, Therese, what's the plan, love? Tell us what's going on. Oh boy. Okay, so next year <laughs> we are hoping to, so at the moment we're in Pattaya, but the plan is that we are going to head back down to the Koh Chang Archipelago. So this is the archipelago, it's near the Cambodian border. And as we said, we've just been down there. It was incredible, but we didn't have enough time to fully, fully explore. So we're going to go back and just enjoy being down there because it is such a special place. I can't even describe how special it is. Yeah. Just a real kind of tranquil vibe, very chill, different to Koh Samui and Koh Phangan, like far few, fewer tourists, much more kind of unspoiled, gorgeous, beautiful water. Um, near the Cambodian border as well. So we're hoping to actually sail to Cambodia. We'll see how that goes bureaucratically, but we've been kind of given some tips from some people here at the marina. So we're hoping that we can make that happen. And then we're gonna sail down to Singapore. And then after that... We still don't really know. No. We have two options. Option one is that we head off. There's there's some places we wanna see. So there's Indo Indonesia, there's Brunei and Borneo and just go really, really remote, just disappear like, <laughs> and just disappear off. But that's take one. Take two is that we end up taking the boat to Europe. We will ship the boat to Turkey and then sail the Mediterranean next year and then go do Turkey, the Greek islands and the whole Schengen thing. And that, both those options are super, super appealing to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But to begin with, we would definitely be sailing around Thailand. We will visit Malaysia down, on the way down to Singapore. Might even be able to visit some of Indonesia. So we'll, we're not leaving Asia just yet. No. In fact, we're not going to leave Asia for some months yet. Yeah. And we might not leave Asia at all. Once again, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, or just enjoy your day off or enjoy your day at work. Or whatever it is that you're doing today, we hope you have a lovely day. We definitely do. And we will see you all in the new year. So happy Christmas. <laughs>